Rebecca, thanks so much for taking some time and joining us in studio here today. We'll, uh, we'll start off with, uh, can you explain to us or tell us who's all coming to this conference and, and where are they all coming from? Absolutely. We're so excited to be here in Winnipeg and at the APTN studios. Uh, we have journalists coming to the 2023 National Native Media Conference from all over. So across the United States and of course here in Canada. And so we're very excited to house, host our conference across the medicine line and invite um, NADRA folks from you know, across North America and beyond to attend our conference in our milestone you know, 40th year. So it's a very exciting time to be a NADRA member and to be involved in supporting and empowering our indigenous voices and stories. Well, how important is it to gather together Indigenous journalists from around the globe? And, and what are some of the, the things that delegates will be taking part in at this year's events? Great question. So our programming this year is really great. And as it is every year, of course. But I think for this year especially, you know, it's just so important for free press issues in Indigenous communities. That's something that's really special to our NAJA programming that is not happening, you know, anywhere else in the world. So there are lots of really great journalism conferences, but I think when it comes to the National Native Media Conference, convening Indigenous journalists from across the globe, there's just this community and it's kind of almost like a family reunion when we all get together because we share some of the same struggles and of course the like same celebrations when we have you know victories in our own communities and reporting on our own you know stories i think that that community aspect of it is something that's so unique and uh, I know lots of folks who have been coming to the conference for, you know, all 40 years and they really look forward to, you know, taking the time to spend together in, in community and um, again going, whether it's to our breakout sessions, we have climate justice, uh, reproductive issues in indigenous communities. Um, just uh, rep repatriation, so many issues that are again very unique and important to our communities that uh, you know these conversations aren't happening anywhere else. So uh, people get to come together and really like celebrate what it is that you know makes us unique as indigenous peoples and that's something that's like so special and, and can't be I think replicated in, in, at any other journalism conference. Mm -hmm. And I like the point you made that it is like a big uh, family <laughs> reunion so I I, I love that uh, little piece there. Um, and now, as you mentioned, it's a big year for NAJA celebrating its 40th anniversary. How important of an organization would you say NAJA is a as a whole? Yeah, that's a great question, Daryl. <laughs> and I think for me personally, you know, this year marks my 10 years uh, as a staff member of the Native American Journalists Association. So to be here and to see our milestone 40th um, anniversary is just so special and we're also you know coming up on I think today is actually the last day of online voting to um, potentially see a name change for the organization so there's a lot of like you know big things in the works I think for Naja, and it's always exciting to look back at the past and like you know celebrate those accomplishments and how far you've come when I started at Naja in 2013 as a staff member we had around 220 members and those were mostly from here or there in the US and so I think now today looking at our numbers we have more than 900 members across the US and Canada and so that growth uh, as an organization has been huge and I think it's really in response to you know the work that we're doing in our mission so um, you know whether that's supporting and uh, training mainstream newsrooms or providing resources for indigenous newsrooms, um, you know, those are just such important buckets of work that uh, are more important, you know, today than they were even when we started 40 years ago. So, to see the growth and the the support of uh, the work that we're doing in our our mission is is incredible. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just uh, wanted to add this this last question in quick. I know you had already talked about this name change, but Naja is going to be dealing with some business this year as well, including the, the vote on the name change. So maybe can you just uh, tell us what the name change might be to quickly? Absolutely. So the Native American Journalists Association is considering a vote to change the name to the Indigenous Journalists Association. 
and the organization has been you know talking about it with our membership over the last you know probably three or four years and you know considering that to be more inclusive of our indigenous journalists again across the medicine line and globally because that is really where our work is headed we're doing work with the UN with CC UNESCO uh, with UNESCO broadly so I think you know some of those international expansion goals um, really support this name change and so really looking forward to see uh, what the members come back with and what that vote uh, looks like, but we'll be revealing it live on stage during our membership luncheon during the conference. All right, well, there's plenty of uh, things to look forward to this weekend. Uh, Rebecca, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for coming in. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Mado, thank you.